Hey guys, Hacksploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the web application penetration testing series. Now, for those of you who have been spamming me about the SS7 video, please just have a little bit of patience. I know I've been saying that it's gonna come out and I'm just working on getting it released on Vimeo and you know, I just have a bit of patience. As soon as it'll be out, I'll post the, the link and you can go and check it out for yourself. You know, there's a lot of uh, legal uh, stuff that I need to deal with. Uh, and I, I have actually, I've had to reconsider a few things. But that being said, uh, don't worry, it'll be out on Vimeo. Uh, there's no chance of it getting published on YouTube. And uh, I'll be also uploading the, uploading the uh, you guys had requested for the crack video which i've finished recording right now and that will also be up this week so i'm working on getting all of these huge projects out of the way uh but i thought in between uh i help i would actually make a video for you guys in web application penetration testing where you you had actually requested or the the highest requested video was was the cms uh, scanning tool uh you know more specifically wordpress scanning uh and again uh, a vulnerability scanner for wordpress so you guys had actually told me that uh, instead of demonstrating WordPress scan, I should actually show you another tool or one of the other tools that I use. And I thought I'd show you this one. So welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find vulnerabilities with WordPress with a WordPress scanner called Zoom. All right. So, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll be posting the, uh, the GitHub repository in the description section. So you can check it out for yourself. And as you can see, uh, it is an automatic and lightning fast WordPress vulnerability scanner. I've started using this over the last uh, few days. And uh, a lot of you guys had requested that I review this and, uh, and to actually test it and see how good it is. Well, as you can see, uh, the, 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 the big feature here is that it, uh, it enumerates subdomains and usernames. Now, again, that's something you guys pointed out with the Mr. Robot CTF. By the way, the hack the box CTFs are also, uh, in, in the making. I'll be making videos on those soon. Uh, so you are talking about the username enumeration and the fact that this can enumerate usernames. Uh, but it does not support plugin and theme enumeration. So it can, it will not display the, the currently installed themes and plugins, which is kind of important. But that's something you can get with WordPress scan. That being said, I really like the feature of enumerating usernames, which is why I'm showing it to you now. Uh, we'll then be moving on to SQL injection because I think that's, uh, that's what everyone wants to, to know now. Uh, that, but that being said, the use, the, the usage is quite simple and I already have it cloned to my desktop. So I'll be skipping that part as most of you have said that it's kind of a useless part to show. So there we are. I'm in the zoom folder and as you can see, it's a Python executable. So I'll just launch the, uh, the Python file right now and you have to specify the URL. So that is done by using the U command. And, uh, I already have, uh, I will be scanning my website, but I have the WordPress server here installed and the IP address is 192. 0.168.1.103. So let's see if it is able to enumerate anything here in terms of usernames. 2.168.1.103. Uh, you know, username uh, enumeration is something very important that many people just go over because if you have a username that is being used and can be enumerated, then cracking the password is, uh, you know, half the job is done right there. So I'm just going to hit enter and let's see what we're able to get. So zoom, as you can see, and immediately we were able to get the results. Now, this is the thing I like. WordPress scan is really, really slow. And when you compare it to a tool like zoom, as the name suggests, it just zooms through the scanning and it's immediately, uh, it's immediate, immediately enumerated the username, which you can see at the bottom here. If I just scroll down, the username is admin and uh, it'll tell you it looks like zoom has found all the users and then something else it will also show you the current vulnerabilities. Now, this is the thing I like is that you can go through the vulnerabilities that you can obviously exploit and uh, you can then pick one uh, that you, you feel is suitable for you. For example, there's the application of denial of service where it will give you links in regards to the type of exploit, which is awesome. So you can see, you can go through the GitHub, uh, the dosser.python file. Uh, that's also a tool I'll be reviewing. And then you have the uh, what's the cross-site scripting one here? There's the open redirect. So this is a, a treasure chest for any of the bug bounty hunters out there. Uh, this tool is really, really helpful. And you, you know, you might come into some, onto some sites that have firewall protection, like my website, as I'll show you right now, I have actually protected myself against scans like this. So if I just use the, uh, the scan here, and instead of specifying that mine is a secure site. So hsploit.com. 
uh, I can guarantee it will not enumerate any usernames at all. So I'll let it start and uh, there we are. No vulnerabilities found extracting usernames. And uh, let's see what uh, usernames it can enumerate, if any at all. I really doubt it because uh, as for mitigation, which is also something you guys have been begging me to to uh, to include in the videos. When you're talking about mitigation, what I would recommend is to use a firewall protection service, uh, either by installing plugins or you can also uh, you can actually pay for a Cloudflare service, which gives your site DDoS protection and a firewall and actually speeds up your website from Cloudflare, which I highly recommend. And that's what I'm using. So as you can see, it's trying to extract uh, any usernames it can find and it's taking quite a while. What I'm guessing is it's it's hitting the firewall and it's key, it's uh, it's retrying it. So again, the script needs a, a bit of work in terms of, uh, you know, actually detecting firewalls and uh and security features but as you can see it looks like there's, there's some security measure in place uh, as you can see it's being blocked so any types of scans are blocked on my website and again as I was trying to tell you many of you people are trying to hack my website the truth is I've secured it and that's what I do for a living I secure websites so trying to break into my site is going to require some sort of really special attack I'm not encouraging you I'm trying to tell you please be Please do not try and attack any site that you're, you know, that is, you're not sure of. Practice on your sites first. And if you become a penetration tester or you are a penetration tester, then you know, you know what to do. And you already know the steps I've put in place to prevent these type of attacks. That being said, uh, I want to just uh, pass out a quick announcement. Thank you for those of you who are supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate it. It helps me a whole lot and it helps me make more and more videos. If you want to support me, I don't accept donations. Uh, you can support me by using the, the link in the description for NordVPN or you can support me on Patreon. That being said, uh, the second winner of the VMware Pro uh, license will be announced this weekend. The first winner was announced and uh, he has got the key and uh, you can check out his social media links uh, and uh, you can check out the proof of that. Um, that being said, thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you found value in this video, please leave a like down below. The other videos are coming, I promise. Uh, and yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or in on my social networks and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.